yeah, yeah. The Russell Brand stuff we're going to talk about, of course. Big up that engine, dude. Appreciate you for the super chat, brother. Um, we'll talk about that in detail next, but it's co it's complicated. It's not just trial by media, brother. It's complicated. It's all at once. It's all things happening at the same time, which people don't seem to be able to process in their heads too much. I don't know why the internet is unable to process that. Okay, it could be a hit job. It could be true. It could be unwarranted. It could be warranted. All of those things could be true at the same time. I don't think anybody's going to sit here and call him an angel, right? That's the problem with having bad behavior, even if you've changed. You know what it made me think about, though? You know what? This is strange to say, like a point that I've kind of seen before. I always used to, I don't know if this makes sense to you guys. I hope you, you kind of see where I'm coming from, right? It always used to really not make sense to me when I heard people that go through AA, they do this thing where you have to like ask forgiveness from people, right? You have to talk to people who maybe you've might have hurt along your way of addiction and destruction and shit and call them up or whatever and basically let them know that hey you acknowledge that you have an issue, you're trying to get it sorted now and you want to just apologize for how you were before and you're changing whatever it may be. Right? It's like it's like a it's like you basically owning up to your mistakes and saying sorry to people that you've hurt along the way. Which is a you know it's a nice thing on 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 the surface of it. But I always felt like it was a little bit I wouldn't say malicious but it always felt a little bit like you were backing somebody into a corner like they had to forgive you like sometimes you could do something to people that even though you felt like you're sorry and you've made amends they can just not forgive you they're allowed not to ever forgive you and not want anything to do with you it doesn't matter if you're in recovery it doesn't matter if you've now given your life to christ or you've now become a muslim or whatever they're allowed to say you know what i'm done with you i don't care what changes you've made congratulations get on with your life but don't talk to me anymore people are allowed to do that but i felt like that whole phone call thing that happens in aa and stuff is a weird way of like forcing people to accept you and to to accept your apology you know it's a strange thing to sort of like do to somebody when it comes to this sort of stuff when it comes to this sort of um russell brand stuff it sort of feels like the same thing you know it sort of feels like it's in the same sort of like ballpark a little bit russell thought because of his rebrand of being this holistic kind of like you know woo woo guy that he could erase all the wrongs that he's done in the past because he decided to change his image not knowing that some people are still carrying the pain of whatever he may have done before like but that's the thing that happens like when you're that kind of guy you don't know what happened you don't know how the person reacts to you you know you don't know what how they're feeling you could have moved on you're all right now you've got a new wife you've got kids now you've got this new career but maybe life hasn't moved on for them maybe life is still as painful as it once was maybe every time they see your face it pisses them off that's the whole thing happened with chris do you remember chris story is so fucking crazy but the chris story is funny because how chris happened right um is this if i remember correctly he was in you and it's funny because the character he plays is essentially a pedophile and takes advantage of the jenna ortega actor who then chris later on in a podcast pretends like he doesn't know chris is an actor in you second season of third really popular show on, on netflix he's everywhere on tv chris he's like he's one of his boom times i think it was just about just a little bit after the whole mnn thing some random girl switching channels sees chris on tv and i think it's the first one it's the girl that was like i think a little bit young and then he messaged her when she was young or underage she said she's underage and i think he tried to message her back after but it was one of the first ones that kind of came out she sees him on tv and gets pissed off and she just fires off an innocent tweet saying oh if only people knew something about chris i don't know something you know something catty russell rebranded a as a how to unfuck yourself guide slash grift bet he wishes he could unfuck a couple other people too <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> exactly 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 see i knew i knew uche would get it i knew you would get it like i don't know how to describe it like again i agree why now the timing's weird right it's 10 years plus on he's a completely different person um no one even remembers that period of his life anymore unless you were a certain age i get it but let's be fair let's be fair the guy did a lot of dirt probably in the past too much dirt to just you know move on with life with people people some people are hurt you have to acknowledge their feelings you know like you have to acknowledge their feelings it just is what it is i think people people's refusal to acknowledge feelings is the odd is, is odd one as well because i guess oh, i don't, I don't want to get distracted but big up uche i appreciate you going back to my main point um the girl fires off an innocent tweet and that's what leads to the whole dominoes falling for crystalia right i think that's the same thing happened with russell brand maybe the fact that he's been so popular on his own 
doing these live streams from that shed looking background thing he's got getting millions of views um anti-establishment guy rallying against the mainstream media all these things that he's doing right rah 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 is obviously getting him a lot of clicks a lot of views but it's also increasing the amount of people that see him so the people the victims who felt like they they got wronged by him in the past keep seeing his face on the algorithm they're pissed off they're annoyed they're pissed off they're annoyed then these journalists call them and say hey um we've got this story coming up we've heard you have an issue with him do you want to take part of course they're going to take part they've got unresolved feelings you know that's the thing i don't understand why people don't get that is possible they've got unresolved feelings about what happened and that i guess <laughs> The thing to take away from this, if you're a dude, especially if you're a man, the thing to take away from this is try your best not to be a scumbag. It's really hard these days. It just is because scumbag seems to get seem to be rewarded in this society we live in at the moment. The more unscrupulous you are, the more of a dickhead you are, the more of a douchebag you are, the more you lie, the more you steal, the more you cheat. Society and the world at large seems to reward you, right? We already see it with the likes of the Brendan Schwab's, the Brian Callan, the Chris Lee, as I cover on this on this stream all the time. I know it does reward you, but actually trying your best to not be a piece of shit will avoid you so many issues. It's such the truth. I swear to God, it's really hard. It's so hard not to do. And if you're in a relationship with women or you're, even if you're just smashing them, even if you're just on some Andrew Tate thing, just, you know, run through and dash, try and treat every woman you meet or you interact with with some level of respect, at least the respect that they're giving to you. Don't leave things horrible if you can, if you can don't treat people badly just because you can get away with it like try and be a gentleman in all points of your life even if you're fucking some random whore behind a bin just because she's a whore doesn't mean you have to devalue her as a person and make them feel horrible at least make the experience good you know whisper into her ear kiss her cheek or something you know make her feel good send her a text the next day and say hey that was amazing whatever right like treat people nice and then in the end in the future when you end up blowing up and stuff like i, I don't know i would much rather right be somebody who like is chill and whatever and treats people nicely and then when i blow up all these random people come up and just start saying, you know what? I'm happy he did blow up. I'm happy he became successful because this guy was a good guy. Oh my God, you wouldn't believe one this random time I bumped into him in a bar and we had shots. It's so funny. All these dudes outside of the Matrix all say the same thing when they're found out for sex crimes. The Matrix is planning a coordinated attack on me. He's attacking me. Luana voice. <laughs> Big up Luana, my baby. Big up Luana. Big up Luana. <laughs> He's attacking me. He's attacking me. He's not letting... Now he hit it. He doesn't let me go. He doesn't let me the fuck go. He doesn't let me go. He's attacking me. He's attacking me. He's attacking me. Oh, that girl is fucking incredible, man. How did she make all the guys' dicks hard, but then all the guys' dicks soft? She made it all hard when she came on stream and was acting herself. And I remember she did that other stream in MMA holes and started talking about the rods and stuff. Everybody, like, shriveled up. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's a menace, man. So big up, Luana. But now, um, Ucha, you're completely right. And this is, goes to my other point. I'm going to save for later on. Let's just stick to the wing stuff. I'm going to make my last point here and move on. That's the funny thing. Like, I think that whole Matrix thing, right? I don't know I don't know how to describe it. I was trying to think of it earlier today. That whole, oh, the Matrix is coming after me. Mainstream media are trying to take me down. Which I think is more of an Alex Jones thing. I think Alex Jones started that, right? To excuse his he's like horrible decisions and maybe some fuck shit he did it's always a you know a cabal of people in the establishment and whatever trying to take him down i think it's like a it's a weird it's a weird like jesus complex to it don't you think there's a weird jesus messiah cocky arrogance to that idea that you think you are you matter that much that these people in the shadowy you know corridors of government are trying to take you down it requires a level of like delusion in a way you know to think of yourself that big of a guy because there's conspiracy people that obviously think you know it's true but i think those guys are using it as like a oh i'm such a big deal they would do this to me and also of course it's to kind of rally up your troops but it's a very strange thing to go as a defense because if it's me and i'm chris and i or i'm sorry i always say chris and i say russell but if i'm russell brand i think i didn't do it just stand on the fact that you didn't do it say uh, you know every accusation that's levied against me i can provide evidence and proof that i did not do this and the ones that i cannot i'll try my best to meet these people face to face and see what we can do to talk about these issues but you just stand on the truth that you didn't do it you don't need to involve the whole like they're trying to come after me don't listen like that's weird like if anything 
him coming out and saying what he said the first clip is what fucked him because that made him look super guilty he just thought he just he seemed so panicky so frantic the lies and stuff it was just yeah exactly Uche they think they're martyrs like don't get me wrong Russell Brand 10 years that's a thing if, you, if you're not from the UK maybe it's different maybe in the US obviously you had a bit of him because he's in the movies but in the UK Russell Brand was a big deal because I think if I remember correctly he was he also blew up around the time Big Brother was on TV the first couple of times so he kind of rode that wave you know so Russell Brand was a massive dude on, t on back in the day and also people forget Russell Brand also was very his timing was like around Big Brother reality TV stuff and he also was a bit of a hero in the pickup artist community I don't know if Coyler remembers this because he knows about that community from back in the day but Russell Brand was a bit of a pickup artist um icon back in the day because of how he used to like you know do the whole flirting thing on tv and stuff people used to love russell brand so he had a he had a big fan base so if you want to kill him back then fair enough but russell brand now like let's be fair like come on bro you're not that big of a deal it's not that deep you know i don't know i don't know i don't know again i'm not gonna speak on it too much because there's so much to talk about but again if you want more information because of that i'm gonna shamelessly shill make sure you join the patreon i've got a, a clip on there and i'm gonna be doing more in a week